Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to be making snake like it says in the title. So first of all we are going to make a title um, and so yeah here's the title right over here. It's snake press spacebar to start. It's right over here. You can go into the actual game that you'll see in the description um, and take that, I guess. <laughs> but it's fun to see what you make on your own. Um, and we are going to name that title. And so we're going to get a when fly clicked block. We are going to show. And we're going to wait until key space pressed we are then going to get a broadcast block and we're going to name it start so we're going to broadcast start and we're going to hide so with that little bit of code right there when you press space it will disappear um so now we are going to make two more sprites. The head and... no, not that. And the body. Um, these, like the name says, will be the head and body. So here is the head right over there. Um, that is just a little, um, that is just a little blue circle with some black eyes facing right. And then the body is the head with no eyes. So in the head sprite, we are going to go to the code. We are going to say, one flag clicked, we are going to hide. Oh, and guess what? We are going to make a new variable. We're going to delete my variable, and that's going to be score. So we're going to set score to zero. And we are going to go to x, zero, y, zero. So now we are going to say when we receive start, which begins the game, and that's from the title, it broadcasts start, it, we are going to show, and we are going to get a forever block, we are going to broadcast clone, and now that we are going to say when I receive clone in the backdrop, we are going to create clone of body. Um, we are also going to hide the body. Now, the reason I'm using a broadcast block for the cloning is because it there is a weird bug that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to anybody else, but there is a weird bug that happens to me whenever I clone, and so it'll be like one clone, two clone, and so then I clone myself, and it'll be one clone, but then I clone myself again, and it'll be two clones, then I clone again, and it'll be four clones, and then I clone again, and it'll be eight clones, and then sixteen, and 32 and stuff so yeah um so we are going to then move 10 plus score times Point one or zero point one. It doesn't really matter. <gasps> you can do point one or zero point one. Um. So 
Now we are going to go into the body because that's going to be the trail. And we're going to say that when I start as a clone, we are going to go to back layer. We are going to show. And we are going to go to head. We are then going to wait 0.5 seconds. We are then going to repeat score plus one. So the player score plus one. We are going to wait 0 0.1 or 0 0.1 seconds. And we're going to do if touching head, then we're going to make a new broadcast and we're going to broadcast death and wait. So we're going to wait after broadcasting. So it waits until all of the things are done. We are then going to stop all. At the end of this, we will delete this clone. So now, you will have a trail for the snake. Um, it's not really that good right now because <laughs> we don't have the game actually done yet. So now, we are going to get four if blocks inside the head sprite um, in the when I receive start. And inside of those if blocks, we are going to do um, some if then else blocks. Um, these will be the movement. So if key up arrow pressed, key down arrow pressed, key right arrow pressed, and key left arrow pressed. So, in those if-else blocks, we are going to say if direction equals in the up arrow, so if the direction equals 180, so we're going to go to the motion and get a direction, then we are going to broadcast death and weight and we are going to stop all. This again will be useful because we will have a death sprite that will be our game over. Um, so then, if not, then we are going to point in direction zero. Uh, so, in the down arrow, we're going to say if direction is zero, and then if it is, we're going to broadcast death and wait stop all. If not, then we're going to point in direction 180. Now, in the right arrow, you're going to say if direction, direction equals negative 90, then you're going to, you guessed it, broadcast death and wait. If not, then we are going to point in direction 90. So, next, we are, for the last one, we are going to say if direction equals 90 in the left arrow, then, again, we're going to broadcast death and wait. If not, we are going to point in direction negative 90. So now, you can move your snake. And if you run into your guy, um, there is going to be a game over. Um, which is good, but we don't really have a game over yet and also we are going to say when I receive death we are gonna hide so now that's all of the snake done
because snakes are cool and they eat stuff to grow longer because that's how it works. <laughs> And so, next, we are going to make a game over screen. So, I didn't want to pay. Um, so, we are going to get our game over. Here is our game over sprite, but you don't have to use that. It's going to be at x0, y0. And we're going to say when flag clicked, we are gonna hide. And we're gonna say when I receive death, we are going to show. So, now that we have our game over, we should probably set the score to a nice area instead of the corner of the screen. And so now if we run into ourselves, um, we will have a game over screen. Now, here is going to be the last sprite that we make. And this is going to be, oh, not apple, apples. These are going to be the apples that the snake will eat. But, guess what? You can make it anything you want. So, this is a completely modifiable game, um, and I do recommend you try to do other things, because it's fun. <laughs> um, and so, we are going to get our apple sprite, and it's going to be the body but red with um, a black rectangle on top. And so we are going to say, in the apples, we are going to say, one flag clicked, we are going to hide. We are going to say, when I receive start, we are going to go to random position. We are going to show. And we are going to get a forever block. Inside that we are going to say, if touching head then we are going to go to a random position and change score by one we are also going to say when I receive death we are going to hide um, the, the game should be fully done now so you get longer each time you eat something and um yeah so you can like make competitions with this game like who can get the most points or something um my best is 55 and 100 is like impossible to get past because, like, I tried a hundred once, and a hundred is just, they really just don't. Um, a hundred makes you go so fast, and you are so long, it's like impossible not to run into yourself. So, yeah, there you have it. It is a snake game, and so you guys can play that, and I will be seeing you next time. Yay!